Asante separation builds among the people of Nasarawa State and Nigerians at large for the Supreme Court's judgment on the appeal filed by David Umbugadu of the People's Democratic Party PDP challenging the election of Nasarawa State Governor Abdullah Sile. A vocal group of women is making their expectations clear. Gathering at the Popular Unity Fountain in Abuja, the Women for Justice in Nasarawa State, representing various organizations and civil society groups, sent a strong message to the APS Court. Holding placards with empathetic statements, the women demanded the judiciary to uphold its independence and resist any form of manipulation while delivering the judgment. It is time for the Supreme Court to show that it is truly the last hope of the common man. We urge the judges to resist any form of external pressure and to make their decision biased based on the merits of our case. <coughs> we call on all Nigerians to stand with us in solidarity. This is not just about one election or one state. It is about the integrity of our democratic process and the rights of every citizen to have their voices heard. In conclusion, we stand resolutely united in our pursuit of justice, holding firm to the belief that the judiciary will rise above any potential external pressure and deliver a verdict that upholds the principle of fairness, justice, and the will of the people. We sincerely hope that our unwavering determination and commitment to cause of justice will pave the way for a future where the voices of ordinary citizens, especially women, will be heard and respected in the democratic process. 